Chiefs after the Raiders played the yeah. Chiefs. For no, no doubt about that. Georgia's defense trying to get the, the Georgia fans fired up here. They need a spark. And they're, they're so talented. A spark could come at any moment. Ragway running all the way. Dives down after about three. Holly, what do you have? Guys, good news for Georgia's defense. Ja'Cory Thomas can return to this game. He's got a left quad injury. Now, let's listen to Holly Rose reporting. Uh, athletic trainer give him some kind of oral medication, but he can return, and that's important because they're running thin in that secondary from a depth standpoint. You got two guys down on the field. Bolden, KJ Bolden, got up slowly, and that's Lagway pushing the back of his leg. He grabbed that left hamstring when he got done. Kind of a... His body just kind of fell awkwardly right away. He grabs onto that that left hamstring area. It's not an area of the leg you want the star player to be touching. The field, a little choppy here. It was an issue last year. Injury pregame. Um, of course, Graham Mertz is, is out, so you're, you're looking down at... The transfer from Yale, Aiden Warner, who would be the quarterback that would more than likely come in here. Shamar James of the Gators, remember that the side was kind of loose. He was pulling yeah. up and it injures himself before the game. Yep. This was just a, a slip. Oh, man. There is Warner. Came from Yale. They've been impressed how he's picked things up when, when you see him. Now on the field, he didn't look very impressive in practice, but they, they were impressed when he started processing things. He has not let go of that left hamstring yet, with that left hand, still still holding on to it. Injury is such a huge part of this Gator season. They're actually bringing a card out for him now. Wow. I mean, this season is turned around for Florida with the way their defense has played since the bye. There's a book at Graham Burks who's already out. He's been such an instrumental leader despite his injury. But the defense has played well. Lagway coming in as a runner and a deep ball passer. So now you got to change suddenly from, oh, just hate to see this. This definitely does not look good. As you said, clutching the hamstring and not able to put weight on that leg. Had a oh boy, now He's we have a game, game delay because of this. Contact ACL. After he threw a touchdown pass, just kind of skipping away. ACL gives out ending his career. It was on the same series as Montreal Johnson suffered an injury against the balls. It's been a snake bit season. What a shame. Whole team's coming over to give him some love. He, he, this guy, he has not been around Florida, not, not only a talented player, but every single person you talk to in Florida, how much they all love him, and what a solid person he is off the field. So you, you can, anytime the entire team comes out, it's not just the, the injuries, how they obviously feel about him. Just one little slip. Something gave way in that leg. We'll get information as it's provided, but that is not a good sign as Langway is carted to the yeah. Florida locker room. Georgia fans showing class here on their feet, applauding Kirby Smart. You see, was out there near with yeah, attending yeah. to him. Yeah, you're, you're you're looking at Russ Callaway and Billy Napier, offensive kind of the offensive minds. They're they're shifting gears now. You know, they they've got to go back to that Graham Mertz kind of approach. All right, the reason why the game was delayed because we have both guys who are down on the field. And we're now back in back in action now after the later game. And I'll tell you something, because this rivalry game is so exciting, I'm I'm just like, what? Because you know it's like full of, of exciting game, you know. It seemed like this was going to be all pretty much to go. And oh, so close, so close to get picked off. Wow, wow. 
What? Seems like this is really coming to the I had to tell you. Now, as I've been on ESPN 2, that Riots versus Navy game is delayed. I wonder what for. Maybe because maybe a weather delay made me like that. Offense, number 58. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. And you're facing Jordan. Yeah. It's a tough side. And I think when you talk to Billy Napier, you said, or maybe it's Russ Calloway, there's a whole other thing. I thought it was interesting. You know, when he first got here, just kind of wondering if he was going to be able to adjust to the SEC speed. Now, a vibration. Well, actually, I hate to say this for you and report this, but. Some things that on, on this plane I would actually huh, may not going to be scared, it's gonna be brave, that's all. Alright, that's a fair catch his call, but I tell you some. Let me tell you this. I will be exercising all week. If I can't stop, I'm telling you. Starting tomorrow, they do back to my Zumba tomorrow. It goes from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll do like at least like 40 or 30 minutes. I might do it like for, for like 30 minutes. And I don't know. Time on the first move. Oh my goodness! Oh my get 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 get! Come on, get through, get through! There we go. That's uh, Carson Beck, and his hometown is Jacksonville, Florida. Let me tell you some. Well, luckily this game is held in his hometown. I'm just so 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 shocking and uh. Think you now, from from years past, Florida Gainers football players who used to be used to have one of the players that it used to be. It was somebody that who joined the field pass for the Pat McAfee show between like the Rose Bowl and. No, before the Rose Bowl, like the like the next other season, but before Tim Tebow, he was at the national championship game, and he was on the show with the field pass to the Pat McAfee show. Wow, another great throw and what a catch! Now we're at the two minute mark. It's a two minute timeout right before halftime. When he threw that pick, they were reshuffling some of the guys, but back to that original lineup up front. Two minute timeout. Now it's going to be a two minute timeout. 